Welcome to the last day of the ASEAN Power Week and what a premier collection of events it's been. Stay with me for a quick review of this year's show and join me in a final tour of the exhibition floor. I'm Kelvin Ross. Over the last three days, we've had a frank and open keynote discussion, a joint plenary panel discussion where challenges were honestly explored and a controversial trend was exposed, and a plethora of well-attended and highly regarded tracks that left attendees with much to consider. Here on the exhibition floor, we've had several key announcements made, deals signed, alliances formed, and many innovative technologies and solutions demonstrated. Today we conclude these video daily news reports with visits to GE, SPIG, GF, Kawasaki, Alstom and others to learn about their latest news and technologies. Let's start our tour with GE. We'll talk to Ramesh Singaram about the power generation challenges in the ASEAN region and learn how GE is addressing them. The biggest thing happening in Malaysia is a discussion around market reforms, removal of subsidies. right? With the gas price around 18, 16 to 18, when you subsidize that, then you, you're never going to get the most efficient machines onto the grid. So markets are facing challenges with regards to how do you make sure you get the most competitive levelized tariff in the market. I would say the future for us, as I said, we're going long on gas. When you look at our portfolio, the power generation portfolio in gas, you know, we're really excited. It plays in the whole range in terms of the sizing. It hits smack on in terms of what customers expect from an efficiency at the unit level, right? So I think that's extremely important. And also it supports all the investment that's going back in terms of R&D and so on, right? So I think we're working very closely with our customers in terms of understanding their challenge. The key is to make sure we continue to stay in touch with them so that the future products is one which is supported by the market. We are implementing new technologies uh, to our customers and providing best solutions to them. Uh, for the ACC air-cooled condensers, we are making the single row technology, the latest technology, that is implementing a high efficiency for the cooling in the power plants. Our cooling towers uh, efficiency, mainly the wet cooling towers, is the best efficient cooling technology in a power plant after the steam turbine. Uh, they are contributing the, uh, to increase the vacuum that is increasing the electricity in the best way. We're here showing the EcoFit range. Um, basically you see from the exhibition here in, in KL Malaysia that water uh, is a very important aspect in power technology. So corrosion free piping is, is also very an important aspect. So actually we're showing something innovative because traditionally it's all metal. And here with metal you have lots of corrosion, you have lots of leaks. So with our EcoFit system uh, for water distribution, for fire systems, uh, and generally slurries and these kind of applications that you have on a power plant, this is actually innovation. And with our EcoFit system you can actually get 25 years or even 50 years life out of it. So can you imagine this? Uh, in, in, in a power station you don't have to worry about this. Part of the EcoFit system is part of George Fisher as well. We produce piping uh, system, so we're a piping system. So this includes valves, instrumentation, the jointing technology, the machinery, the controlling system as well. So actually, we produce everything that fits your needs and it's all from one supplier. The engines uh, will be brought to Malaysia, all right? So we are utilizing the Malaysian manpower. Of course, these, these uh, engineers are all well-trained and certified by Kawasaki Japan, all right? And, um, and we're having the local engineers to tear down to, according to a Kawasaki standard, ISO compliance. We're also representing a skilled Malaysian servicing the uh, high technology turbine in this region, from Pakistan, India, up to Australia, New Zealand. So these are all Malaysians. That's how uh, I would term it as a technology transfer from Kawasaki to the Malaysians. When you talk about renewables, it's very difficult to completely solve the intermittency problem. But what we're talking about is a, a technology which is giving a, an unmatched uh, level of availability, an unmatched level of dispatchability and flexibility to the operator, which we haven't really 
seen before uh, from an Alstom product in, uh, in, in, the, in the solar field. So uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's maybe too much to say it's solved, but it's certainly on the way to being solved. We're talking about a, a fully solar thermal solution. This utilizes the, the strengths of Alstom's offering uh, in terms of steam turbine technology. We also bring an advanced boiler capability in terms of the solar receiver, which is uh, operating using the molten salts. And uh, with our partner, our technology partner, BrightSource, we are offering, we're offering a, a heliostat field, uh, which uh, is, is more or less glass mirrors. So we're not talking about PV technology at all. We're talking about solid, stable, and very long-term steam turbine technology. This is the, the most successful and common form of power generation around the world today. And uh, we believe in, in solar thermal as, as the right uh, technology choice for sustainable solar power. You know, a plant that lasts uh, 25 years, a plant that lasts 30 years, is still going to be generating uh, kilowatt hours uh, for future generations. Central to every power gen and renewable energy world event is the knowledge and experience that's shared. Delegates have the excellent opportunity to gain knowledge from the many excellent white papers which are painstakingly prepared and delivered. It's therefore only appropriate that all of these are celebrated and the best of the best recognised. Before we join this year's winners at the Best Paper Award Ceremony, let's meet Dr Heather Johnson, the Events Director, and get her reflections on the first ASEAN Power Week. Well, we're absolutely delighted with the attendance we've had at, at the ASEAN Power Week. We were last here in uh, Kuala Lumpur in 2011 and it's always been a very positive, good show for us. Um, but this year um, we've got an attendance that, that exceeds 7,500 so we're absolutely delighted. And certainly the feedback we've had from the delegates, the attendees, the exhibitors, the visitors, it's been a really positive experience this week. Yes, the discussion has been robust um, in, in the conferences and differences of opinions have been totally respected and I think that's then enabled the discussion to move forward in a very positive way. I'm really pleased that we've been able to create a, a platform which allows people with very sort of different opinions to come together and um, to know that their opinions will be respected and will be listened to um, and then really this event we see it as a, as a catalyst for moving the discussion forward for hopefully addressing some of the key challenges and, and issues that, that um, face the industry. Well we've obviously had some uh, great discussions, great conversations at this year's show um, and I think with moving to Bangkok we'll be able to, to take those conversations and develop those, bring more participants into the discussions and really push forward the whole um, power sector development within the ASEAN region. Thank you, Heather. It's that happy time again where we celebrate this year's winners of the Best Paper Awards. So let's head over there and join the celebrations. We're unanimous that the best paper in their view, written paper this year uh, in track one, is for a paper called Is Gas the Right Fuel for Power in the Philippines? From the Lantau Group, um, it's Sarah Fairhurst. Uh, my paper was about um, bringing gas into the Philippines. It's work we've been doing for the last year for the Department of Energy in the Philippines. It's been funded by the World Bank. Um, so we looked at the economic case for bringing gas into the Philippines um, and then we looked at commercial and transaction structures to see how it might work. Uh, we were looking at the barriers, uh, the regulatory, um, legal, policy barriers as to why gas isn't coming into the Philippines naturally. Um, and we proposed um, a, a master plan framework going forward. Yeah, and the policies we put forward as part of the master plan were all about getting the capability to import gas getting a, a window really into allowing gas into the market but not necessarily and indeed specifically we've made recommendations to say do not contract firmly for large quantities of gas. The winner is uh, from Japan, the, the title is Operational Experience of Oxyfuel Boiler and it's IHI Corporation Mr Akihiro Kamaki. We have to reduce the emission from air firing boiler so uh, we can 
decrease the emission of CO2 from the air firing boiler to by sorry by using the oxy fuel technology. So IHI oxy firing technology is based on proven air firing boiler technology, yeah. uh, which has been accumulated for over 50 years. That is why IHI can provide uh, proven oxy firing technology yeah, for us to receive this award. Many congratulations to all the winners. I hope their wins will continue to encourage them to higher achievements and inspire others to submit their own papers at future events. Before we go, we asked some attendees for their reactions to the first ASEAN Power Week. This is what they had to say. If I were to think of one word to describe PowerGen Asia, it would be... Useful. Exciting. Exciting. Amazing. Red. Excitement. Good. Fantastic. Superb. Opportunity. Great. Relaxing. Excellent. Superb. Opportunity. Interesting. <laughs> Fabulous. Incredible. Very fun. Worthwhile. Useful. Fun how? Not too bad. Interesting. Knowledgeable. Busy. Fantastic. <laughs> Ideas. Experience. Successful. Exceptional. Fantastic. <laughs> Exhilarating. Tomuntogin. <laughs> Unbelievable. Powerful. Electrifying. Connection. Educating. Thank you for joining us and contributing to the success of the first ASEAN Power Week. We look forward to your participation once again in next year's show. Please remember, although this year's show is over, the conversation doesn't have to stop. Please continue to connect and discuss the regions and the industry's topics via our social media channels. We look forward to continuing the conversation with you. Thank you for watching, safe travels, and until next year in Bangkok, goodbye. Selamat datang ke Malaysia.